Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. Today we're taking a look at a tool that I think most people completely skip over, and that is the Export Cross Recipe Tokens tool right there. A little bit of a mouthful and not exactly the most intuitive thing to use, but can make your exporting go pretty smoothly. So let's get into it. The Export Cross Recipe Tokens tool allows you to modify the export processing that you use from other tools. So it's used in conjunction with the naming and the location tools. Let's get into how this works. If we are in the export naming tool, what we are doing is we are automating the name of the exported image as we've discussed before. And right now I have it set up for the image name, so that's the name it is right now, plus the image date. But let's say I didn't want to do that. Let's say that instead I was going to use a preset that I've already made, that is the job name. So the job name with the image date, or I could do current date or whatever. But what is the job name? I don't have a space to be able to fill that in. So right now the sample just says the date that the image was shot on because that's the other portion of my naming format. But if I come over to the export cross recipe token, I see that job name is a field here. And so I can type in airshow. And if I do that, I immediately see that the name has been changed to airshow, not just here, but any recipe that uses the job name is going to automatically change the job name to whatever I type into this field. So if I were exporting an image in a variety of ways, perhaps a small version that's going to be a proof for a client and a large version that I'm going to use for myself, I could type in job name here and it would populate that information to all of those variants. I'm going to pop these back and we're going to take a look at the other aspect, which is the subfolder. Now I could automate this, of course, with the token recipes, but we're just going to type for purposes of demonstration. And this comes into the export location. Right now I have these images going into a folder, which is my downloads folder. But if I was exporting one series of images, perhaps the large version of the JPEGs, into one subfolder and small ones into another subfolder, could I automatically understand and populate in a title for the the subfolder? And the answer is yes, I could. So one thing that I could do with my export location where it says subfolder, I could just type something or I could come in here and I could come down to the bottom and grab the subfolder token. I could put that along with any other token that I want. Let's use current date just for the fun of it. And we're going to create this as our export location recipe. Now I could just leave that in. And if I was exporting, I could type in to the subfolder field space in export cross recipe tokens, whatever information I want. And so now I know this is going to be the name of the subfolder token so that when I export this and come over and take a look at my downloads folder, I have a test name for the subfolder and air shows the name of the image. And those things were actually populated in through the export cross recipe token. So the way that we use this is perhaps by creating this subfolder rule or subfolder preset as my uh, system for creating export subfolders and perhaps using the job name as the way of naming images and simply typing in what I want right here. And it will work not just in the recipe that I am currently working in, but all of the recipes that I might be exporting at once. All right, so that's how we use this tool. It has a lot of applications, and once you get used to it, it will make exporting, particularly exporting multiple versions of variants, much faster. All right, thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time.